What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Men Only. Let's get straight into it. I've been single almost my entire twenties, and I've always been fascinated with the people that go to and from relationships. Like, how the fuck are they doing that? How are they finding someone? That Here's what they. It, I call it serial monogamists. People that just get in relationship after relationship after relationship. Interested in enough, and someone is interested in them to be in a romantic relationship with. I haven't had a date in months. I haven't even talked to someone romantically in months. I haven't had a touch of romance in months. And people are going to and from relationships. How? Like, how? Let's be honest. Well, because some people are actually um, eligible for a relationship. Some of you ladies ain't. Keep it a buck. Some of y'all ain't fit to be in relationships, just like some men ain't fit to be in relationships. Like some people want relationships and you attract what you are. If you're attracting people that are, you're, are relationship minded, I think it makes sense. But if you're a runner, you know what I mean? She's a runner, she's a track star. More than likely, you're not going to attract people that want to be in a relationship with you. So, I mean, just going to keep it a buck. It's like, I can't, I can't feel bad for you. This is what you wanted. You want to be single? You want to do the single girl lifestyle? Go for it, honey boo boo. We ain't mad at it. And continue to expect men to fill the void they feel. No one really talks about how hard it is when it seems like everyone around you is me. I'm sorry, is she sitting in the f on the, f the kitchen floor? <laughs> <laughs> or is she like three foot five? Meeting their person and getting married and falling in love. And you just haven't ever. And I've always been the person that was completely fine with being single and i still am but i've been so fine with it that you're on TikTok talking about it i love it thinking about it a lot more i don't know if it's because i'm getting older i'm 27 now but Ooh, it is because you're getting older promise you i would love to get married one day and of you would. maybe be a mom and be in love but i've just never had that and i've never been with a guy that was husband material at all lady she's a runner she's a track star i love it when a woman tells her bop lore put some bop lores in the chat for me so i've never really had the chance to even attempt like building a life with someone or being in love and a few weeks ago i was at a concert and there was a couple sitting in front of me and you could tell they were so genuinely in love and it was beautiful and i started crying because I had this realization that I've never experienced that. And will I ever? What, I, what I've noticed is a lot of women, they don't do the work. So there's really nothing to fall in love with. Shots fired! This is why I gotta say you gotta love yourself before you love anybody else. You ladies are expecting Prince Charming to just come up out the woodwork <laughs> and love you when you're shallow. You got nothing about your personality that we like. This is why I say there's three things that men look for. Your appearance, that's what gets our attention. Your personality, that's what keeps our attention. And your character, that's what makes us fall in love with you. If you don't have the other two thirds after the appearance, what are you really expecting to get? Ever get to experience that? Or will I be alone forever? Like, will I meet my person? And- Will you meet your person? This isn't a Disney fantasy. The thought of that really upsets me. Like the thought of being alone for the rest of my life. I don't even want to think about that. I like to have hope and believe that there is a good man out there for me. They're Aww. very hard. Chat, to are there any? Hey, let us know. We got a lot of men to watch the channel. Where's where's a good man that's gonna step up and save this woman? I can be your hero, baby. <laughs> Who's gonna save her? To find, but I have faith that they're still out there. But it's just hard. Obviously, I'm happy for people that are in love. I think it's beautiful, but. It's hard when you just know how much love you have to give and you just never had the opportunity to give it. Mm -hmm. Obviously to my friends and family I do, but like romantically, I've never had the chance to truly show how much love I have in me because like I said, I've never been with a guy that like showed love to me at all. So I've never had- She's a runner, she's a track star. What do you mean by that? had the chance to like show my love to someone show my love. so i can only imagine that if i were to be with a man that truly loved me and treated me well and like we were just in love i would do anything for them like i would probably walk to the end of the earth for them so i want to do that like i want earth ain't flat though i want that so badly like i want to be in love and 
treat a man well. Here's the thing. You threw away the best years of your life where you could go procure some loving. 18 to 24 ladies, once you hit that 27, it's like, ooh, the land of misfit toys. On to no man's land. Hitting the wall. Impending soon. It's sad to see. But the thing is, is what you're going through now is what men were going through when we were 18 to 24. That's why we don't feel bad. You're 27. She's still got hope. She seems fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. But there's something up with her. Because the thing is, the common denominator and the fact that you're alone is you. So what about you do you need to change? I'm still waiting to hear that. And like, I don't know, just to build a life with someone. I want that so badly. Which I never really was like this ever like that's why you're alone because you never prioritized it now that it's late you're like where are the good men you had a chance and you blew it i always was so independent and just doing my thing but Boss i don't know the older i get maybe the more i don't know maternal i'm becoming or something but i just really want to be in love and when i see once they get a little bit older that feminism seems to seep out and then those factory settings seem to come back <laughs> i want to be a mommy well it's too late people in love I'm like oh, I, I'm happy for you but I want that myself like I want that so badly and I'm trying to hold on to hope that there's a good man out there for me but I also don't is want hope a brand of cat food <laughs> is that what she's talking about I'll lower my standards either and just settle for the wrong guy because I know how miserable it feels to be with the wrong person so I would rather be alone than be with the wrong person, but... I love it. I love it, dude. I, you can't make this stuff up. Lower her standards, what, for a regular guy? You're a regular girl. Hopefully the right one is out there. I hope. And, yeah, I don't know. It's lonely, though, kind of. Here's the thing. It's lonely, though, kind of. Honey, we know it's lonely. And we... I, I kind of feel bad for her because she seems like a sweet girl. She really does. But she had her chance. When you were younger, more youthful, had less trauma, we can tell by the way you were talking, there's probably been some guys come by. She's a runner, she's a track star. Don't shoot the messenger here, I'm just taking what I'm seeing. More than likely, you've been seeing a couple other men. So, once you make the men of your present pay for the mistakes and trauma of the men of your past, there will be no future. And this is what it seems like. Your standards are so high now that you didn't make Chad wait. And if and it, the thing is, guys, if she's making you wait, another dude hit it on the first date. Any woman that's actually truly attracted to you will let you smash from the jump. From the jump. So don't ever take that like, well, I, I'm just going to wait for the right guy. I'm going to wait. You're going to have to wait. I'm not waiting. Have you ever had a one-night stand? Ask her that. You ever had a one-night stand? Oh, you have? I'm not waiting then. I want what the last guy got relationship and i also just deleted all my dating apps you know a month and a half ago i was on here we were trying to perfect my hand big back big back so i'm so sorry guys please don't be mad at me i have been consistently on the dating apps since 2013 when tinder was big obviously i've never had a boyfriend so i've never had a reason to fully delete them off my phone I've gone in phases where sometimes i am using them more sometimes i'm using them less i have found myself being extremely discouraged lately i moved to nashville a year and a half ago i have not found one man to go on a date with in this huge city it feels discouraging when i see people around me even people on the internet getting on the dating apps and they're at least able to go on dates i'm not saying the dates are like working out and have you ever thought it might be you, <laughs> my love? That's what I just don't get, dude. Like, as men, we understand if you're not getting the results that you want, go to the bathroom, look in the mirror, and there's all your problems right there staring you in the face. But these ladies are like, I'm in Nashville. Where are all the men at? Well, clearly you're not attracting these men, so it's something to do with you. Just the lack of accountability is appalling. People are like falling in love, but it feels discouraging that I can't even get to that point. When you get on the apps and you get messages like this and this over and over and over. L let's, uh, but here, here's the thing. I want to see what pictures you posting on these. Okay. Because women are marketers and men are salesmen. I just want to have fun. Oh, I'm here for the weekend, baby. <laughs> not, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. You know what I mean? Over. I'm tired, Grandpa. I've noticed recently I've just been developing such a negative mindset when it comes to dating or like me feeling like I'm really going to meet someone. Almost been like reassuring these insecurities that like, yeah, like I'm a bigger girl. Like this is all. All guys want from me. I'm the girl. <laughs> 
you want to have fun with, not the girl that you want to take out in public, take on a date. Fact of the matter is, it and is. And she knows that. Baby girl, if you know that, change something. It is harder to date when you are a bigger girl. Obviously, you can find love. There is love for everybody, but it's harder. I bet there's big dudes out there that'll take you, but you don't want them. Isn't that crazy? And I just like need a break from it being so hard. I feel like me starting to have a negative mindset, kind of like manifest things around you. I do think like your energy and my energy is just so negative on it right now. So I'm simply just doing something I've never done before. This is just a new approach and I'm off the dating apps completely. I'm not swiping, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, I kind of want to just see if this changes my mindset. I'm on TikTok crying about it. <laughs> I'll definitely come back on here and like maybe do like weekly updates see how I'm feeling I do think being on them really enhances your chances of meeting someone especially me I'm at home most of the time in this economy I can't afford to go like sit at the bar all the time and like wait for a man to show up I do want to get back on them but for right now we're taking a break so it's okay to take a break from them so yeah that's what I wanted to come on here rant for the day love you guys as always bye Sorry, sweetheart. Dude, I love it. Misery loves company so much. It's okay, guys. Take a break. It's fine. I am. I'm not getting any attention, so I'm going to take a break. And if she she self-admits that guys don't like bigger girls, but yet doesn't take any accountability and says, you know what? Instead of being a big bag, big bag, big bag, why don't I get my buns in the gym, put the fork down, get in a little bit better shape so maybe I can attract a higher value guy. Instead, she puts it on the guys. Guys aren't attracted to big girls. Well, you're not attracted to big dudes. <laughs> There's a lot of big dudes out there. Are you attracted to them? No? Okay, then why would you expect a guy to accept you as you are? Like, that's why it's like, men are just demonized for their preferences. With women, it's a preference. With men, it's an insecurity. It's like, well, they're just not, they're just not secure enough to just date a bigger girl. It's like, bro, what? This is why I say women change their uh, environment to fit their mindset, whereas men change their mindset to fit their environment. Like, this girl's out here complaining about all this stuff, but she won't change her environment. She just wants to change her mindset. Well, I'm just going to delete the apps. Or she's just going to change her environment. I'm just going to delete the apps. I won't be on them anymore. How about you change your mindset? How about you go get in the gym? You start running. Not not that kind of runner. She's a runner. She's a track star. Okay. Actually running. But this is why I always say, dude, like you got to choose your heart. And you're probably like, what do you mean by that? You know what I mean by that. Choose your heart. Being single is hard. Being in a relationship is hard. Being married is hard. Being uh, overweight's hard. Being fit's hard. It's like all of it's hard, but you just have to go pick your hard. I believe that some women, me and two, but I can only speak on a woman because I'm a woman. Do y'all think that some women constantly stay in a victim mindset? Yes, a hundred percent they do. And the reason I don't like the victim mindset is because when you're a victim, you give up all of your power. If you think every like just just imagine this for a second. Everything in your life that happens to you is your fault. Everything. And I know you're probably like, well, Levi, what about what about the anomalies of people that, you know, were born with something? And I'm, I'm like, hey, I get it. The exception doesn't make the rule. Think if everything in your life was your fault. As soon as you do that, you're allowed to take all of your power and say, you know what? It's up to me to change it. When you play the victim, you give up all of your power. And then everything that happens in your life is somebody else's fault, something you can't control. This goes back to the stoic philosophy. Control what you can control control how you react this is why i hate the victim mindset i'm not doing well it's my fault i'm not fit enough it's my fault people aren't watching my content it's my fault i'm not going to blame anybody else for something that's that's something that i control constantly stay in the bad situations they refuse to do the work to improve because they like the empathy that comes with it yes mm -hmm. and i'm gonna speak for the men since i'm the men there are people that enjoy playing the victim role because mm -hmm. it's an easier way of living life. Talk mm -hmm. to anybody that is mature. They said their life has changed once they started to take accountability. Do you know how much harder it is to self-reflect on the decisions you make and you understand that you are the only person in your way? Do you know how much easier life is when you can just blame everybody else for your issues? Now, this isn't saying that terrible things don't happen. People don't come across terrible individuals. I'm pretty sure if everyone took a step back and thought about how something bad happened to them, they could say, well, if I didn't do this, I probably wouldn't have had this outcome. Being able to say- well, it's, a, it's a cause and effect, right? The effect is the bad thing that happened. The cause was your decisions to get you to that effect, right? You're overweight. The cause was you ate too much. The effect is your big back. Big back, big back. You went to a party and somebody punched you, which has happened to me. 
I went to a party one time in college. I called a dude a hipster when I thought being called a hipster was a good thing. The dude straight smacked me. <laughs> he punched me and then I, I just left the party. Yes, I was a runner. She's a runner. She's a track star. Um, but there was like six dudes on this porch and it was like me and my homie. And I was like, don't feel like getting jumped today, buddy boy. <laughs> um, I don't know where I was going with that. But yeah, I got punched in college for calling a dude a hipster. I am the problem is difficult for people. Women didn't start admitting they might be the problem until Taylor Swift sang it. And even then, it barely... Oh, man, that was Taylor Swift. If Taylor Swift came out with the album that says, you know what, I'm the problem, it's me, women would still be like, eee! I don't know about all that. It's a step they are not ready to take. Society's reinforcement of their victim status makes it even harder to break free from this mindset. At first, it was kind of funny, like, ha, 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 I'm going to be single forever. I'm going to die alone. Now it's been three years. It's not that funny anymore. <laughs> I'm at the point where I don't know if it is just me, if I'm wired weird, wired different. But I honestly don't think I'm going to meet anyone. I've obviously... I just think you're regular. Like, I just don't think you're anything exceptional. Like, a lot of these mid-women want exceptional results want a guy that's six foot six pack six figures six inches they want everything but remember ladies if he's good enough for you he's good enough for a few put it on a t-shirt i've been dating i've been meeting people but i've just not had you know that connection when you first meet someone and you think and this, this is, is another thing the connection the sparks flying honey you're not you're not jasmine and you're not going to find your aladdin it's going to be something i've not had that now the three years that i've been dating that's a lie, actually. In my Trauma. three years stint of being single, I did date someone very, very short term before I got a DM off a girl saying she was also his girlfriend at the same time I was. But we don't count that one. I find it so hard to connect with men emotionally anyway, and that's probably a little bit down to my daddy issues. But I honestly just... At least she knows. Gonna give it up to her. Solid on her part. You know I call a spade a spade. These roasts are, you know, these, these roasts are rated E for everyone. <laughs> But at least she's owning up to that. She says it's some of her daddy issues. Issues. Kudos to her. Can't see myself truly opening up and loving a person. My okay, well, th th let's just stop it there. Stop it there and say, you know what? It's my fault. I don't open up well to people, and that's why I'm alone. Let's see if we end up there, though. Relationships, my two most recent ones, have been quite damaging. They were narcissists. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. She just said she can't open up emotionally, but they, then the guys were a narcissist. Bro, this is the textbook. Do, do, do all the modern women just get this in a pamphlet? They're like, call them a narcissist. You always win. Incredibly toxic and emotionally abusive. I think I've just got to the point in my life, I've done a lot of healing, a lot of working on myself, and I'm so happy right now. My life is incredibly peaceful. I am so lucky to But yet you're on TikTok crying about it like, what? So many gorgeous friends in my life. And I've just got to the point where it's like, do I need to keep pushing something that I feel isn't working? I like going out on dates. I think they're What, fun. like that makeup? Fired. But I hate it when you go on a date and you can feel, at least for me, fairly instantly if there's a connection or not. And then I sit there and dread being there for the rest of the date because I'm too much of a people pleaser to just make an excuse and go. I've mentioned this before, but I've had comments from my mum basically getting a bit concerned because I'm approaching 30 in a couple of months and her basically saying that she thinks I could be being too picky and basically has been bringing up the topic about freezing my eggs, having a child alone, etc. And that has even got me questioning if I even want children. I grew up always thinking that I wanted them, but I think as I approach the age where I feel like I really need to start thinking about it, it's become less Less and less of a want for me and I'm not sure if I'm doing it because that's what I've been told that I want to do. I also do think that part of that though is the fact that I haven't found anyone that I want to have a child with. Like I think the part of having kids, one of the most gorgeous things about it is creating something that's 50% you, 50% them and if I've not found the person that I want to do that with then that kind of makes sense as to the why I'm having these feelings of not being sure. I am also respectfully sick. Dude, how many things are you going to put on her face, bro? <laughs> this is like number five. To absolute death of all of my friends, family, whoever, colleagues, people in relationships telling me that, oh, when you least expect it, it will come along. Oh, you know, you're looking in the wrong places. As soon as you're not looking, there they are. Shut the fuck up. Just because a person's not in a relationship does not mean they're less than than someone that is in a relationship. My life is just as fulfilling, if not more. I'm going out with my friend. Stop it. 
and tonight and of course i'll have a great time regardless with them but i do feel like part of the going out process is also chatting to guys having conversations talking to people and i truly can't be asked i don't even really like drinking anymore i think i've found this year especially i've never been a huge drinker as i've gotten older i've just found that i don't need to drink to have fun anymore so i found myself tonight just kind of dreading the drinking aspect obviously i'm so excited to go out with my friends but it's the drinking on dates as well because again i definitely can't be doing those sober unfortunately especially if it's not a good one i find myself maybe ordering a few more drinks than i would if it was a good date to be honest the age that i am now obviously so many people are having babies and my entire instagram feed is full of either there it is i was like where's the social media going to come up the instagram feed get off of social media stupid Comparison is the thief of joy. You're comparing your regular everyday mundane lives to somebody else's highlight reel. Stop it. Pregnancy announcements or actual pictures of newborn babies. And I'm going to say something quite controversial. Newborn babies are so ugly. I'm so sorry. And it's not helping my fear of my choice of whether I want to have a kid or not. But I think what I am also coupling with in my head with the fact that I am approaching 30 is the fact Damn. that I still want to be able to make that decision. I don't want that decision taken away from me because of how old I am. Most of my followers over here are women, around 90% women, which is what we love to see. But I'm at the point where I'm really turning to you. If you've got any colleagues, brothers, cousins, anyone you know that's tall, dark, handsome, tattoos and piercings, you know where to send them. Women in our era. That's what I'm saying. Tall, dark, handsome, tattoos. She wants the bad boys. You want the bad boys, but those are the guys that gave you all the trauma. She's a runner, she's a track Free. star. Wait. Free. So somebody asked the other day, Levi, what's what's the free command? So when I tell him to go to his place, that's his place, clearly. Free means he can disengage from the place and come to me. And then wait, of course, is wait. And then free is like the release word where he can like eat the treat. He can get off of his place or something like that. We had a um, like a canine trainer, like a police dog trainer, come and train him. And bro, he was like Loki is one of the smartest dogs. So shout out to that guy. Things for Latrette Jackson out of Austin, Texas. Um, incredible trainer. Dude was so good with Loki. He spent like eight weeks with Loki, um, and he did an absolutely fantastic job. It, this is this is the smartest dog I've ever had in my entire life. I grew up with boxers. What kind of dogs did you guys have? Did you guys grow up with dogs? Did you guys grow up with cats? But like personally, I grew up with boxers. I had a boxer all the way through like. All the way to the time I got to college, we always had boxers. But this is what's so crazy to me with these women, dude, is all the women that we reacted to today, none of them really took accountability for where they are in their life right now. Whereas men, we're expected to take accountability for everything that we do in our life. And we're, we're expected to take the accountability of other people too, <laughs> not just ourselves. But ladies, if you could just take something from the men's playbook is take accountability. Change your mindset to fit your environment instead of changing your environment to fit your mindset. If if you're hanging out with a bunch of single people and then you're like, well, why am I single? Well, it's because you're hanging out with single people, dude. Stupid. Are you dumb? It's the amoeba effect. You're only as successful as the top five people you spend the most time with. Me and Cass, I don't have friends that are single. She has like one girlfriend, but it's like her one friend from from high school that they've like known each other for like 20 years. So I'm like, cool, whatever. But like all of our other friends are in relationships, if not married. So we hang out with people that are in relationships. That's just how it goes. We don't hang out with single people. Because Cass isn't going to go do single things. She's married. You know what I mean? We're married. So it's like, it is what it is. And I don't know if I've ever told you guys that. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. And then also the ebook, The Four Steps to Style. Selling like absolute hotcakes. Shout out to you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.